What's up everybody? You're watching Ingram Orchids and More and today we have a special, special video for you. We are going to be filming the behind the scenes of the Palmer Orchids Spring Open House. That is this weekend, March 8th through the 10th. And who better to do the behind the scenes than your favorite Palmer Orchids team. So we will be going around and showing you the highlights and the beautiful displays that everyone has put together and we hope you can make it. Hey guys, today we're going to do a little something different. So here we are, we're at work and at the nursery here, we're going to talk about nobile, or more specifically Dendrobium nobile. Uh, this is not to mean the species nobile, but we refer to a lot of these pendulous deciduous dendrobiums as nobile type dendrobiums. And there's a lot of different cultivars, a lot of different hybrids, uh, but as you can see behind me here, we have a whole bunch of blooming nobile. And so let's talk about them a little bit. So Noble are a great Florida orchid because they kind of match up with our climate here in Florida. You know, in Florida, we have a distinctive wet dry season. We have a summer that's, you know, we get torrential downpours and we have a cool dry winter where we get, you know, not a whole lot of rain. And that matches up with their care pretty, uh, pretty exactly. So dendrobiums, you know, um, or this type of dendrobium, they do have a, uh, a deciduous period where they have a reduction of water and fertilizer and a lot of them will lose their leaves like you see on some of these canes. Now this year we've had a really wet winter so a lot of these dendrobiums have not lost all their leaves because they've been out here open to the elements and they've been getting rained on uh, and we were worried that they weren't going to bloom but sure enough they bloomed anyways so um, if you're worried about having an orchid that you're gonna have to water too much, you know, the winter months, this may be something that's uh, a little bit more appropriate. And another great thing about them is they love really, really bright light. They don't necessarily have to grow in full sun, but we grow them here under 70% shade, or sorry, excuse me, 30% shade, right here in this little corner here. And they get intense sun here in Florida. We have a lot of sunny days and it gets really hot and they grow just fine like that. We have some on the trees that we'll show you in a little bit that are getting at direct sun for a good portion of the day and they're growing just fine. Uh, the only thing is though, if you grow them in that really bright conditions like that, you really got to keep them well watered in the summertime. Because if the temperatures are hot, they're going to need some water to cool them down and hydrate them. So during the winter rest, we'd like to tell people, you know, Thanksgiving to Valentine's Day, don't pay too much attention to them. You know, kind of just forget about them a little bit. Uh, if they become severely dehydrated, we water them a little bit, but during that time, you shouldn't be giving them any extra fertilizer. If you fertilize them into the fall, that's perfectly fine. But after Thanksgiving, uh, just cut off your fertilizer and water sparingly, and you'll be rewarded with a lot of, uh, lot of beautiful blooms. So what happens if you do keep water and fertilizing? Well, they may still bloom, but a lot of them will throw uh, kikis off of the canes where the buds would normally appear in the spring. So if you fertilize too much in the winter, you'll get a bunch of new little babies that grow on the canes instead of bulb or instead of blooms. And you know, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. If you like to propagate your plants, uh, that's a good way to propagate uh, noble aid dendrobiums is by kiki. You just want to wait until the kikis are mature. But here at work, we like to see blooms. And so uh, that's what we're shooting for. So give them a good, cool, dry winter rest and you'll be rewarded with beautiful blooms come March. All right, you guys. So as soon as you come onto the property, you're going to see the mansard area and it is just packed to the gills with such beautiful, beautiful flowers. You got the epidendrum radicans and my absolute favorite, the nobile dendrobiums that we're going to have all throughout the property. Big old displays. Brassavola Little Stars. If you love orchids, nature, flowers, you need to come this weekend.
just packed with noble A-type dendrobiums. My personal favorite. We've got orchid flowers for every one. You like fun, crazy blooms, we got them. So beautiful. All right, you guys, the Vanda house. Anything vandacious lives here. Got our pendulous dendrobiums. If we had smell of vision, you guys could smell the raspberry. Top cuttings. Look at all these, you guys. There's like 12 different ones here. Got them hanging. Oh, how pretty.
you guys, you know what's great about growing Nobile Dendrobiums? You can mount them to your trees too. You've got a whole bunch of things on this stump here. So you shouldn't be intimidated to grow them. They are super easy once you know what their requirements are. You get just a pop of color on your tree trunk. Super easy to mount. The roots will start grabbing on there. You guys, check out the buds to come. Nobelays always put on such a show in the spring. You won't regret adding these to your collection. to the open house you might see a special guest one of our gopher tortoises this is don julio for those of you who have not met him yet that's what we named him he's our mascot
want to thank everybody who's a part of the Palmer Orchids team for letting us film, um, especially Jake and Ashley and Robert um, and the ladies, the whole team did such a good job setting up. So we are so excited to have another wonderful spring open house under our belt. So if you are local or in the state of Florida, pack your bags, come see us this Friday through Sunday, March 8th through the 10th. We'll be open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and then we will be open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday. So come check us out. We'll have the $10 tent and lots of fun flash sales for you guys. So come say hi. We want to see you. We want to meet you in person, and um, we'd love to talk to you about orchids. So come out. There'll be a barbecue food truck. There's going to be Colombian coffee Friday morning. It's going to be fun. And then we'll have the taco ladies on Sunday. So if you like true, authentic Mexican food, come out. You'll eat good food. You will not leave hungry. Your wallet will be empty. And you'll have a whole bunch of orchids. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we hope to see you at the spring open house. See you later.